Hello and welcome to the design thinking session. Uh, and uh, this session itself, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be looking at ideation. And let's get to the learning objectives for today's session. Uh, the two parts to today's session, one is how can we get better at uh, brainstorming? And the other learning objective is how can we increase our chances of coming up with potentially breakthrough ideas? Now, with these two uh, learning objectives in mind, uh, before we get into that, let's do a quick recap of the design thinking process. Now, as uh, you know, the design thinking process uh, starts off with the uh, challenges. And this is the part where you effectively identify the design challenge. So by identifying the design challenge, what you do is you look at the problem or desire that you want to have resolved. And once you have identified the problem or desire, the next step is to reframe it with the end user in mind. And then the third step is then to recraft it in the form of an inquiry or in the form of a question. So that is the, uh, uh, the challenges phase in the design thinking uh, process, the first part. After that, we go on to the second part, which is learning. And this learning phase, this is where you go into deep dive into learning about the challenge. Now, this is where some of you would have gone on to done uh, to have uh, conducted surveys or you would have uh, collected feedback or inputs from either your colleagues or the people that you're working with, for example, your students. Uh, additionally, I understand that some of you would have gone ahead and uh, did some uh, experiments, a small group experiment to kind of collect data from there. So in this phase itself, essentially, is to better understand the problem that your students are facing. And so with that, you... Uh, come up with a list of uh, data and information that you could uh, uh, help you uh, in the downstream process of the design thinking process itself. Now, once uh, we've done the uh, learning phase, the next step essentially is to look at ideation, which is what today's session is all about. Uh, there are two parts to the ideation. The first part is synthesis and the second part is brainstorming. So we're going to get into a bit more detail in, uh, in the later part of uh, this uh, video. Uh, once you have done with ideation, the next phase is to go into prototype. And this is where you look at what are the best ideas and using a technique like storyboarding to kind of help you uh, build your prototype. Once you have done that, the next and the last phase is the share and skill phase. This is where you share it with the end users or with the people who are uh, you're implementing the solutions for. At the same time, uh, once you've done that, you collect data and information to kind of uh, build up or to improve on your prototype. And finally, to have a solution which you, which you could scale up. Okay, so this effectively is the design thinking process. So it spells up CLIPS, C-L-I-P-S, as we previously mentioned. So this is the design thinking process.